Hello, it is I, IR Smart, the Star Wars guy. We're back again with another video where I point out an, a minor Star Wars detail that you probably didn't notice. I did this a while ago where I did this video about how the TIE Fighter windows are wrong. You can go watch that video up here. It's a pretty cool video. Uh, and you know, I basically point out that the window on the TIE Fighter is flipped depending on whether or not you, which way you're looking at it. So it's really annoying and it's a video I made about it. So I'm gonna make another video about another annoying detail that bugs me. And now that I've pointed it out, it's gonna bug you too. So first we have, we have to go over like, w w what is this bug? Well, um, basically ever since 2018 with the movie Solo A Star Wars Story, there's been one minor detail, it's just been bugging me, it's just been annoying me, and I'm finally gonna make a video talking about it. Cause it's just so weird once you actually start thinking about it, okay? It's not like a huge plot issue or anything like that, we're not gonna get into that. But first of all, I would like to show you this new Star Wars shirt, right? This is another new one. Look at this one. Look at how cool that is. It says Star Wars. And it has Darth Vader. He's doing like... Poof. And I think it's just cool because it looks like a heavy metal poster. And I just think that style is so cool with like the shiny metal effect it's got going. It's, it's great. So anyway, that's the new Star Wars shirt for today. I hope, I hope you enjoy it. So anyway, let's actually get in to this thing I'm talking about. So here we have this scene. It might be a bit difficult for you to see, so I might zoom in on it here. But then we have Solo with Star Wars Story about... You know, an hour into the movie, so you know, two-hour movie, but right in the halfway mark, about. So there's this scene where Han comes in on Kira, and she's in Lando's coat rack room, which is amazing. The fact that they made this detail where Lando Calrissian has this room full of different capes is amazing. I love it so much. It's such a cool detail they added. And so Kira's in here trying on Lando's capes while he isn't noticing, and Han comes in here because he wants smoochy time. But then they're at Lego off and talk about like the plan for Kessel and whatever. Anyway, so I'm gonna kick click play. And we're gonna we're gonna notice. Notice this little detail here. So they're having their their moment here. How do I There we go. So yeah, yeah, they, they, so they're here. See we got all these different capes on the on this cape rack. They're talking about stuff. We don't really care about what they're talking about right now, but we so we got you see all the capes. Right? So she's wearing a cape, she's trying them on, alright? But take a look at this hanger here, alright? Take a look at that, alright? Do you see that? You see that hanger? It's kind of difficult to see, but look at the way that hanger is shaped. And now think about that, okay? Let me let me hold on one second. Let me get a regular a regular old hanger for you from my from my closet here. This is what a hanger should look like. Okay? Okay? So you see this? This is a clothes hanger, alright? It does it does one of these. It does not do a complete circle. It does not fully enclose itself off. This is so when you have a coat rack, like, let's for example use this stick I hear here as a coat rack. You can do this, alright? And you can easily take it off. You don't have to do this. You don't have to swing it all the way down. Because if you got another coat hanger, let me, let me get some more coat hangers. I got a ton of these. Um, I got this one, I got this one, okay? So you, so you get, you get coat hangers, right? So you got, you got coat hangers. They're like this. So when you want to get, say, this coat hanger, you don't have to move all the other coat hangers to the end and take them all off. You can have them all on and and, and do that. Now you may be asking yourself, I are smart. I know how a coat hanger works. Why are you explaining me how coat hanger? Look at this coat hanger, okay? Let me just sip my other thing down here. Look at that coat hanger, all right? That is a complete circle. So what that would mean is you would have to take your coat hanger, you'd have to... Oh no, they all fell on the floor. Okay, you, they, they got them. You, you'd have to take your your coat hangers, right? You'd have to put them all all on one at a time, and you wouldn't be able to take them off like this. You would have to go off on the end of it. W what the heck? Now another thing. Let me keep going in this scene. Let's look at how these actually go on. So so the way these coats actually go on the hanger, and the way they actually hang them up. I think she does it in this scene. I don't really remember. So let's let's just take a look. So anyway, it's just so weird. How is that gonna work? Is, is she actually gonna put it on? Do you get a good view? Look, they're gonna kiss, but... Oh, 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 oh here, 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 alright? So, re disregard the fact that they're kissing, alright? Look at, look at this coat hack, alright? Wait... Okay. Bear with me here. So this coat rack, don't... Disregard the fact that they're kissing right now. Look at that. You have to take every other hanger, every other coat off the coat rack, J uh, uh, cape, not coat, I'm sorry, cape. You have to take every other cape, look at that. See, it goes around here. So if you want this cape in the back, right? This one that's right here. You have to take all these other capes off to get the one you want, and then you have to put all the other ones back. 
Why? That's the worst design choice I've seen in my entire life. Whoever designed the Millennium Falcon's coat hanger, uh, uh, closet, cape, cape closet is stupid. It's stupid. And look at this. Look, these, it's like a posing. You know, there's this little gap so you can actually get them off because these coat, because these, uh, these hangers are stupid. You have to literally take this one off and like push them against these other ones. It's the stupidest hanger closet design I've seen in my entire life. Also, it's also worth mentioning, Lando has no sense of color coordination at all. Like, he could def easily color coordinate. He's got such a wide variety. Now, I don't color coordinate my clothing. But if I had a cave closet like this, especially one set up like this, it would make so much sense to color coordinate. That's a minor thing. The biggest issue for me is the fact that these hangers are stupid. But why? Like, I don't get it. Why? Why is it like that? Let's just keep... Yeah, they're kissing. We don't really care about that. Don't look at it. Yeah, look, here's this guy, alright? Alright, yeah, actually this... Alright, so this is the end of the scene. This is where we're at, but still. Why? Why is it like that? Is, is there maybe a reason? Is there maybe a hidden reason? Why this... Why this coat rack is like this? Do you, do you think there might be a reason? You know, may, maybe he doesn't really wear those coats. Or th those capes at all. He only... We'll never see him wearing four capes. The yellow... The yellow outfit that had the blue cape that we see him wearing in this movie. The, like, whitish cape he wears at the end of the movie. Then even though we have his iconic, you know, blue and gold outfit from Episode 5. Then we have his general outfit from Episode 6. So those are the, the four capes that we see Lando wearing throughout the saga. And he has all these other ones that we don't see him wear. But, it, so... Why? Why? It, like, he wears a lot of capes. And I'd say there's a def decently good chance he wears all these capes. Or maybe he doesn't. Maybe he just makes people think that he wears all these capes. He never actually wears those, you know? He definitely does strike me as the kind of guy who would just buy stuff just to have it. You know, he's like a bunch of expensive capes. And, uh, also it's kind of implied that this isn't even Lando's ship, because it was impounded, and he kind of just took it. So it is implied the idea that maybe it isn't even Lando's ship. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Lando just stole the ship and this guy happened to have a bunch of capes? Or maybe he stole it, got it impounded, then stole it again. I don't really know. But it's just, it's just why? Why make your hangers not like this? Like, I get it's Star Wars. They want to make things look cool, but just, this is such a perfect design already. Why would you ruin it by making a stupid looking hanger, alright? That's, I don't get it, alright? I do not get it. That's, that's it, everyone. That's, that's the video. I'm just complaining about coat racks and capes and hangers and, do, do, that's what you call these, co coat hangers? Coat, clothes hangers? Uh, you hang stuff from them, am I calling them right? I think so. Anyway, that's that's all I had for you. That's the, the, the Lando cape rack problem. Coat rack, cape rack, whatever. It doesn't really make a difference. His, his hangers are stupid, and it upsets me. So now it's going to upset you too, and you're not going to be able to sleep tonight, because you're going to be thinking about this. And you're going to go up to Ron Howard or whatever. I think that was the guy who directed. You're gonna, we, we got to go call him up now. Say, hey, Ron Howard, why would you make your hangers so stupid for your movie? You could have made them better. Whatever. Anyway, that's it. Bye.